Welcome to part 2 of using Isotope RX in voice production. In this episode we will look at RX5 Advanced Loudness module and then show how to use Insight Loudness History Graph and the Loudness Overflow Automation to manually match levels between different recordings and to achieve the required loudness levels. Keep an eye out for the instructions for the chance to win a copy of Isotope RX plugin bundle. There's also a grand prize of RX to be won. Insight does a very good job with the level and loudness meters, but it does not include any processing tools for loudness compliance. However, uh, RX5 Advanced includes a loudness uh, module that does precisely that. So first I need to import an audio file into RX and open the loudness module. You can see it has a very straightforward interface. Basically, you choose the loudness standard from the list or create your own target levels and then press the process button. The problem I have with this workflow is that I have to render the project twice. Once in Reaper to export to RX and again in RX for loudness compliance. Isotope have come up with a neater solution with the loudness control plugin. Uh, which you can buy separately or as part of the RX post-production suite. Uh, you can insert it in your project and analyze and process the audio to meet the required loudness standards from within your door. However, this is only available for Avid and Adobe software. Personally, I would find it extremely useful if um, the loudness module in RX or the loudness control plugin uh, were available as VSTs. And if I could then insert them on my master track effects chain so that I would render the project just once. Hopefully it will only be a matter of time before this happens. In the meantime we can use our own VST plugins to set up the levels and check them against inside loudness meters. For example, let's say we need to comply with the European broadcasting standard of minus 23 uh, loudness units and a maximum peak of minus 1 dB. Also, to make it more interesting, let's say we have two voices rather than one. As you can see, this two voice setup is slightly different from my usual one voice track arrangement. As there are two different readers, I'll be using two tracks with two different FX chains to process the voices separately. However, I am still sending both tracks to the subgroup bus because here I have inserted insight to help match the levels between the readers and to make sure I comply with the loudness standard. This setup could also be useful in dialogue for film or radio production, uh, for example. Let's have a listen to both recordings and see what information Insight is giving us. You need to protect yourself from, but there's no need to separate yourself entirely from the world around you. The idea of interconnectedness, which is so central to mindfulness and compassion, has been embraced by religion and spirituality for centuries. Okay, so the first voice has been recorded at a very low level and it is more than 10 loofs from our target value. Since I was a teenager, I had read about meditation and went along to a local meditation group where we learnt mindfulness of breathing and metta bhavana, loving kindness meditation. The second recording is very close to the target value of minus 23 loudness units, but still needs a bit of boosting. I am going to use two compressors and a limiter in each of the FX chains to adjust the levels. Basically, the first compressor is going to gently level out the volume, the second compressor is going to reduce only the peaks, and I am going to use the limiter to stop any possible clipping and its makeup gain to reach the required loudness levels. Let's start with the first voice. To speed things up, I have loaded a couple of custom presets onto my compressors. As I said, the first compressor is used to level out the volume throughout. For this, note that I am using a very low ratio. Uh, then the aim is to adjust the threshold until I get a constant reduction of between 3 and 6 dB. A study evaluating levels of cellular inflammation in people who describe themselves as very happy found that this was only the case for certain very happy people. Those who were happy because they lived the good life, based primarily on self-gratification, actually had high inflammation levels. 
Only those who are happy because they live the life of purpose or meaning. I am setting the second compressor with a high ratio and a high threshold so that only the high peaks are reduced uh, by a bigger amount. On this particular case, uh, there are not many peaks, though it might catch the odd one. A study evaluating levels of cellular inflammation in people who describe themselves as very happy found that this was only the case for certain very happy people. Those who were happy because they lived the good life, based primarily on self-gratification, actually had high inflammation levels. Only those who were happy because they lived a life of purpose or meaning had low inflammation levels. After applying compression to the signal, uh, you should see a reduction of the loudness range and the integrated values in insight. You could choose the compressor's makeup gain, but I tend to use the limiter's threshold, which also functions as a makeup gain, uh, to reach the target value of around minus 23 loofs in this case. Cellular inflammation and people who describe themselves as very happy found that this was only the case for certain very happy people. Those who were happy because they lived the good life, based primarily on self-gratification, actually... But what if you're not naturally compassionate? Suddenly being expected to... But what if you're not naturally compassionate? But what if you're not naturally compassionate? But what if you're not naturally compassionate? Suddenly being expected to turn the spotlight from yourself which is a primary focus of modern life to other people, can seem daunting. Finally, I also put a ceiling of minus 1 dB on the limiter to stop any peaks clipping. I've already set up uh, the two compressors for the second voice, so I am going to adjust the limiter to again reach a value of about minus 23 loofs. Since I was a teenager, I'd read about meditation and since I was a teenager since I was a teenager since I was a teenager I had read about meditation and went along to a local meditation group where we learnt mindfulness of breathing and metta bhavana I spent a lot of time over the last two years thinking as does anyone who suddenly faces their own mortality and fragility now I'm going to play both recordings one after the other a few times to compare them and see what the integrated level is if needed, I will change the threshold on both limiters so that I get as close as I can to the target level. I do that enough in my day-to-day -day life. And my mind doesn't so much drift off as run away from the task, screaming, and I have to fight to drag it back to this. I cannot see the point of it. Opportunity for, connect opportunity for connection over and over again. As I've said, your evolutionary heritage means you're wired with a desire for connection and to be in relationships with others. So it's been very helpful in lots of ways. I've also now quit my well-paid corporate job and gone it alone as a freelancer. As you can see and hopefully hear, the two voices are now at a very similar loudness level, although you should use your ears to judge this and don't rely only on the uh, values provided by Insight. Inevitably, you will also have to compromise and settle for a value that is close enough, but not exactly the target value. Sometimes it will go below and sometimes above. You could always compress the signal more, although it might be better adjusting the gain of a specific bit of audio uh, with a volume envelope or fader, if compression doesn't do the job. The best way of checking how close your project is to the required loudness standard and how close have you matched the different recordings, is to use the loudness history graph and the loudness overflow automation. But it can also give you so much more. If you allow the love and ease you cultivated for yourself in the previous chapter to flow out into your life, it will also transform your relationships for the better. I have run both on this project, so let's see what they show us. The great thing about the loudness overflow automation is that it shows on the timeline um, the places where you have exceeded your target value. However, it does not say by how much. So for this sort of information, we need to look at the loudness history graph. For me, it is not an issue if the levels go above the target value every now and then. 
but it would be an issue if the levels are too far from it, or if one reader's level is consistently different from the rest. In this particular case, it looks like there is only a couple of places on the first yellow track where the levels have gone over the target value. If we have a look on the history graph, uh, we see the same issue at the beginning of the recording, where there is a red line. It is interesting, however, that the overflow automation is showing an issue in one place, whereas the history is not showing anything around that same area. In any case, the best thing to do to sort this out would be to manually decrease the volume fader or envelope of the affected audio so that it stays within the loudness range. Uh, there are different types of information you can get from the history graph, including the integrated, the short term and the momentary loudness values. If we show just the integrated loudness line, uh, we can see that the integrated value is pretty close to the horizontal line representing our target value. There's an ever so slightly decreasing tendency, but I'd say it's pretty good overall, as it is between minus 24 and minus 23 loofs and it looks like there are no significant differences between the two recordings, as the line is pretty continuous all the way. Thanks for watching. In following parts, I will explain my workflow when editing audiobooks, and we'll be looking in more detail at how I use some of RX5's VST plugins and RX as an external editor. I hope this was useful. See you next time.